Hi everyone, I'm Allison from Highlights and I want to share with you today some awesome stories and poems from this recent issue of High Five Magazine. We have got a story about purple jelly peanut butter pumpernickel bread, um, a poem about counting sheep to fall asleep, and another story about facing your fears. So let's dive in. This story is called What Does Pete Eat? It's by Heidi B. Romer, with art by Richard Watson. And this story is a bit of a tongue twister, so let's see if I'm up to the challenge. Purple jelly peanut butter pumpernickel bread. Pete eats it when he wakes up and before he goes to bed. At lunchtime and at snack time, there's one thought inside Pete's head. Purple jelly peanut butter pumpernickel bread. Mom offers buttered wheat bread but Pete wants no other spread. He will not eat a pizza or an apple, green or red. Don't offer him spaghetti when he's ready to be fed. He wants purple jelly peanut butter pumpernickel bread. What would you eat if you could only eat one food for all your meals? It's a tough question. Next, we have a poem about what to do when you can't fall asleep, which happens sometimes. So this poem is called Counting Sheep by Diane Moritz with art by Richard Wake. Just last night, I couldn't sleep. So I counted leaping sheep. When I got to five, I said, I'll count dinosaurs instead. Love that method. This says, how many sheep do you see? Let's count. Up here, I see one, two, three, four, five sheep. And then it says, how many dinosaurs? So let's see, I see one, two dinosaurs here, but way back here I see a third dinosaur, so I see three dinosaurs. This says, what else do you see? Let's see, I see a really cool scooter back here, some building blocks. I wonder what he's reading, looks like there's some good books on the shelf. What do you have in your room? Finally, we have a story about facing your fears. This story is called Beverly Beats the Deep. It's by Judy Cox with art by Tom Knight. Beverly's big sister is going to teach her how to swim. Will she go? No. Beverly won't get out of the car. She won't put on her swimsuit. Don't you want to learn to swim? Asks her big sister. No, says Beverly. The other kids are in the pool. They blow bubbles, they dog paddle, they float, they motorboat. Beverly won't even put in one toe. Jump, says her sister, I'll catch you. Will Beverly jump? No. Wait, Beverly orders. She goes back to the dressing room and comes out with a float ring, a kickboard, goggles, water wings, a snorkel, swim fins, a foam noodle, and an inflatable pink tiger. Now I'm ready, says Beverly. She jumps and her sister catches her. Together, they blow bubbles, they float, they dog paddle, they motorboat, and yes, she's swimming. Do you have any fears you're working on facing this summer? I've been doing a lot of gardening and yard work, so I'm working on my fear of spiders. Good luck with whatever you're working on and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.